if the worst does happen, how do you want it to go? And for me, I thought it was fair to be like, oh, no, no, budget needs all these businesses. These are my businesses. But the things that we create together, like we bought this house together. So it's like, okay, we, we have some real estate where we started a real estate business together. Okay, but budget needs to my online school, the literature academy, like to other things that I've created. No, you know, the, those things belong to me. Even the things that I'm creating in the marriage, but are not from him, those are still mine as well. It's the things that we've grown on purpose together. And like I said, once it was done, it was like, oh, okay. Because you want to be careful. I remember my attorney at the time when she was, you know, creating our prenup, she said, you want to get detailed, but not granular. Because then you start to literally set yourself up. Like the dog belongs to me. That chair belongs to me. Cause then it's like, well, what are we doing here? You know, she was like, you want to, so she was like, be mindful, Tiffany, of just how, like, I want the pen. Oh no, 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 no. Cause then you start fighting over things for the inevitable divorce. Like, what are we doing? Yes. So that was like really good advice that she was yeah. like, you know, detailed, but not granular, Tiffany, or else it just really does. She said, I just seen so many people like their relationships fall apart just in that pre conversation. Mm. Um, and also to something to be mindful of, you want to do it with enough time before you actually get married or else it can look like you've made this person sign under duress. That's why I was really shocked when I saw like at Candy's wedding, like Ooh. literally, I just thought that was strange. I'm like, is this, unless this is just for TV, that's not how you, because you have literally given proof to like, should like this not work out with Todd? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about um, Candy Burris from um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. They yeah. got married, but at, at the actual wedding, she made him sign. And that is that is a definition of under duress. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, uh, and it's he's, on camera. I'm like, so I just thought to myself, maybe this is just for TV, but you don't want to do that. You know, she was, she kept asking when do you guys get married? Because she's like, I don't want it to be within just a few months of that, because then it looks like someone's hand was forced. Mm -hmm. And so that's something to be mindful of too, but had that conversation well in advance. We, I had that conversation before we even got engaged, mm. you know, the, so, because we knew we were going to, you know, when you're grown, I mean, you know, when you're 20, you're like, oh, I'm surprised when you're 37, you're like, so on the 15th, when you ask me, um, <laughs> I'm going to wear, you know, you're like, you're grown now. We're, you know, like I'm on the other side of 35. Like we're no, it's happening. Cause or else I wouldn't be with you, you know? Right. So we had that conversation and long in advance, we got the kinks out of the way. So it didn't disturb the energy of us starting our life together. Because if it happened right before, then there's like, well, is this what we really want to do? I don't know about this, but it was like, we had already talked about it. I probably brought it up at least two years before. And then again, here and there, and again, like slowly, but surely dropping. And, and then, you know, after a while he did his own research and he was like, Oh, Oh, okay. That's fair. So you're just saying you take your stuff. I take my stuff and what's ours. We split. Oh, okay. No problem. I actually called one of our mutual friends. I called Felicia. This is that beauty. Oh, I was yeah. like, girl, I have all the things, but nobody, <laughs> what should I do? And Felicia so told me, she gave me really good advice. She said, all the work that you put into the budget Nista, how much time do you set aside for finding or leaving yourself open for a relationship? I was like, girl, what? I don't have time. She's like, exactly you have not created actual space in your life for someone. Mm. You have to create space. I was like, like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not understanding. You're you like, mean that, okay. no. right? I was like, meaning like, I can't go to the, the supermarket real quick looking crazy. She's like, no girl. Cause you don't know who you're going to see. Mm, like, do you true. hang out just for hanging out sake? Are you letting your friends know? Hey, like a friend of mine literally texted me the other day. She said, hey Tiff, you know, this is Andre. I said, oh, hey Andre. She was like, just letting you know, my sister's 34 and looking. I was like, oh, cause I was exactly that age. She was like, I'm just putting it out there. If you know a good man. And I was, that, that's where I was at that stage. I just let all of my friends know, just so you know, sis is available. If I, I like that. Yeah. And you should, you know, that's fine. And then too, when people have events, I mean, not that we're all going to each other's houses, but when you do letting folks know, like, are, will there be um, available men there? Let me make sure that I look my best, but putting it out there, like what you're looking for and what your standards are. 2008, that recession really rocked my world and just brought me to my financial knees. And since then, I have been rebuilding. It taught me that what I built was strong, but it also taught me there's some things I can do better. I want you to think of 2019, 2018, 2017, and the years before. I want you to think about that as those were your boat building years, mm. right? So this is your financial boat. You mm. picked out the tree, chopped it down, hauled out the log, put waterproofing on it, smoothed it out, right? So all this time you're building your boat and you're pretty confident, like, oh, I think I'm doing a good job. Some people just didn't even get a chance. They didn't even build their boat. They're like, ah, later, later, later. And then 2020 happened 
and it was time to put the boat in the water. Ooh. And not just any water, in the ocean deep. And yeah. some people had not tested their boat. They had not gotten a chance to test their boat. So now all of a sudden, we're in the roughest water in the middle of the ocean during the craziest storm. And you're like, wait, it's but my survival is me and this boat that I've been building that many had not tested. So what some people found is as soon as they got out, they sunk immediately. Wow. And that might mean some that- people they, had kids in the boat. Girl, boat just overflowing. Some Let people realize that like, why do we have cable on in this boat? You know, like I'm, I, you know, I chose the wrong profession for this boat, you know, My like way too big in this boat. Exactly. So you started to realize, so those of us who are here in 2021, many people just washed up into shore, just washed up. Like, oh, I just right. barely made it boat just thrown onto the side of the beach. And you're like, okay, so after you catch your breath, I want you to ask yourself, where were my leaks? Mm. Did Was it in the front, my savings account? Was it in the job that I chose? Was it in the bills? Mm. You know, was it in that I give the kids a little bit too much? Whatever that is, you have the opportunity in 2021 to now work on the boat with actual road tested knowledge. Wow. And so that's what I, you know, so 2020, um, 2008 put me in that position. So I put my boat in and I was like, okay, we float. It didn't sink. It actually started to move. Now it could have gone faster had I done some little tweaks, but now I know I made it back to the shore and now I'm tweaking because best believe we are going to be back here again one day because economics is cyclical just like everything, you know, you have winter, summer, spring, fall, everything is cyclical. And so what that means is about every 10 to 15 years ago, we experienced a recession. We're going to be back here again. There's yeah. going to be some other financial crisis. It might be triggered by the tigers. I don't know. Whatever it is, there's going to be something. That's just the way life goes. This time, there's not going to be a leak. This time, I'm going to be stronger and I can continue to build and build and build upon what I know. Wow. A word for the people.